Hey guys, welcome back. Ooh. How's it going? No funny backgrounds today, as it is uh, not in the budget. We just got the uh, the darkness here behind me. Premiere people, how are you doing? How's the chat? How you how you doing in there? Tossing emotes around. Thanks for being here every Friday. Thanks to everyone else who missed out but is watching later on. Join the Discord and uh, post your premier beers and or a beverage of choice this evening. Uh, that is a channel that's typically locked but will be open or should be open at this current time uh, for everyone to post their premier beers. If you don't drink beer, that's fine. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine. Post your beverages in there. Premier beers just sounds like more fun. It could be root beer, I guess. Well, premier root beers for all of you uh, that do not drink the beers. My apologies for the mess last week with the, uh, what was his name? Caribou Sniffer underscore XOX. His hacks. I bumped up security and we should be uninterrupted this week. Um, so, uh, I guess other than that, that video last week, there was a lot of weird stuff going on, uh, that I covered in that Leon, uh, Leon Hart video last week. Uh, turns out it gets even worse and, uh, that's what we are covering today. Uh, we're going to do a thorough recap of what happened before getting to the sketchy stuff on Leon Hart's end and then the sketchy stuff on the seller's end. Uh, just to be clear here, this is not a hate on Leon Hart video. Uh, we're trying to get the full story here. You can disagree with someone, uh, their choices that they made, and poke fun, which we're going to be doing a lot of that here uh, without getting too nasty. Is that, is that clear, everyone? We're good? We're good? All right. Let's, uh, let's get into the, uh, the recap, the channel recap, not the recap recap, and then we'll do the graded card of the week. The best segment ever. If you guys haven't uh, caught on yet, we have the uh, crappy Pokemon openings, uh, the shorts. Uh, first thing every day. Then after that, we have a Pokemon opening. And then in the evenings, we have more of the uh, detailed videos, if you will. Uh, so on, on Monday here, I uh, cut the last card, added the last card from my first edition base set to complete the binder on Tuesday. We went over an article on Pokemon.com, uh, the Pokemon card battle Neo Spring slash Summer Road 2001, a little bit of a learning history lesson there uh, for trophy card people or people that are not so familiar with them, a uh, nice easy entry into learning about what the events were, the differences in the, you know, the, the winner, winners and their cards that they received uh, for those events. Then we have the eBay vault. I did a little coverage on that. Gave my opinion on it. Again, it's not something for me. I don't think it's something for most people. Um, but um, another one of those things that uh, if you don't know exactly what it is or what you're looking for, could be a little bit of a trap. Um, I'm sure it's beneficial to some, but uh, probably not all that, that many people. Uh, you'd have to be both looking to sell um, and they'd have to be, you know, pretty valuable items at the same time so um, hard to say we'll see how that turns out what the uh, the niche scenarios are where it makes it makes sense to do so and then uh, last but not least yesterday we had the repacks and fake god packs with a, a little example that we went through I thought it was kind of um, hilarious how poorly executed uh, this god pack uh, alleged repacked god pack uh, was was created and opened on uh, on the YouTube video there. So um, yeah, we did a, we did a little little critique of that. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Now let's uh, get into uh, the next segment here, the one you've all been waiting for, the graded card of the week. All right, here it is. Uh, maybe the only segment on YouTube that lets you lose a little bit more faith in those grading companies that everyone cherishes. Here we have the Charizard Reverse Foil Legendary Collection. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to to tell PSA, but uh, this is Dragon Majesty. You can you can tell by the the symbol down at the bottom there. N not even close. 
and that's like 80 sets away from from, <laughs> from where it's supposed to be uh, but uh, again uh, thank you to trading card world for posting this but also to uh, Bob Jeffries and Brandon Freidinger for for sending it my way I think they both sent it right around the same time probably right around when it was posted but uh, yeah that that's a that's a good one for sure definitely a good one so I'm sure not everyone here has seen it. Also, it won't be bad to get a little bit of a refresher on the information in this video, uh, how it pertains to the additional information that's come to light. I think it's uh, it's pretty important. We'll do a, a thorough um, kind of a summary, kind of hashback, hashtag recap of, uh, of the sketchy stuff that went on in this video, at least pertaining to the Candela card. Uh, that's what we're focusing on on here and uh, the new information uh, will require that background knowledge so buckle up this is going to be a pretty uh -huh. rattle pokemon and rattle viewers it's me your friendly neighborhood caribou sniffer underscore xox or as some people call me captain carabooner Rattle Pokemon, you seriously thought your new security measures would keep me out? Turns out that caraboner.exe file you downloaded gave me access to your barrier once again. You're lucky it's Caribou Fest this weekend, or I would stick around as a little treat. I'm gonna let Leonhardt's Heart Squad interrupt from time to time. You claim to not delete comments, but I don't believe you. The Heart Squad is going to get to read their own comments on the air. <laughs> I gotta go. It's almost nipple play hour. Carabooner out. Pokemon Go leaky weeky time. Uh, there's been a bunch of this. It's kind of it's kind of the same old song and dance as usual. Uh, we've seen a bunch of Pokemon Go leaks. Yes, they're almost certainly stolen. It's, uh, it's funny that everyone is now playing the pulled it from another product card, uh, which is, I guess, the, the safest way to go, better than just straight up saying, yeah, it was stolen. I bought it from an old lady who got them. They were stolen. I, I, it's, it just makes it a whole lot easier. But it's weird that there's no video showing this, and uh, no one seems to be actually taking credit for being the one that pulled them. If it was legitimate, if it was the case, you would see all kinds of streamers pulling this stuff. There's a ton of product that is opened on camera. You don't want to believe it. There is. It would have happened on camera at some point. Guys, remember my rule? If it's more than a month before release, uh, it, uh, it either came from the print facility, storage, transit, or the distributor. It is a very, very rare occurrence that we see a product accidentally get mixed in. We've seen it with a different language, uh, with those, those French cards that got mixed in, the McDonald's ones. That really happened. There's enough evidence to say that it actually happened. And no, before someone says it, I know someone's about to type it. Someone's furiously slapping their keyboard right now. Like Donkey Kong, Drungle, Jungle Beat. Is that the one with the drums? Um, <laughs> no, that doesn't count. And we'll take a good look at that and why it smells like absolute BS. Who cares, man? Laws are like bones. Meant to be broken. Dang, have to try to throw people under the bus for views. You don't even know if it's true. You click baby like this video of these accusations. Get you sued. So, even if you try to hide it as a, a mystery pull, uh, we are going to find the source. I'm going to find the source. And the Pokemon company is going to find the source, or the print facility is going to find it for them. Now they're kind of one and the same, or will be one and the same. So it might be a little bit easier for them to, to handle that. Leon Hart actually opened the own card from sealed product. We have here uh, Frank saying, haven't seen any tweets about this yet, so here is the Radiant Blastoise from the Ghost set that someone accidentally pulled from an Astral Radiance pack. Again, the, the chance of these getting packed into different products as well. Uh, so we got, we got Leon saying that he got it from someone that's saying that it's in 
in an Arceus box, and then this is in Astral Radiance around the same time, yes. Um, but um, the odds of this getting packed in there, slim to none. Okay, my question is this, why does anybody or you care about this so hard? Why are you either taking the time to drag this man through the internet on YouTube about a subject that is really between him and the Pokemon company? If they thought that he had stolen cards or the cards were stolen from them, why aren't they talking to him and why is he still getting sent shipments of Pokemon cards from the Pokemon Corporation? If they were concerned that he had stolen cards, question mark? I'm trying to make this make sense. This kind of seems like you're participating in a bit of content clickbait yourself because this really is none of yours or anyone else's business of whether he has stolen cards or not. I would think that Pokemon would figure out that if he had the cards and they were stolen and would have contacted him and said, Look, you are pushing a line here, or we're going to terminate our contract with you because you're showing cars that you were not released yet and were stolen from our factory. I agree that if this is how he got the cards, something deep within his soul should have made him all kinds of suspect about how this guy is saying, I got these cards, and investigated more. But I'm sure the content creator in him just said, I know this is suspicious, but I need and want the content. Stupid? Yes. Should be smeared on YouTube? N no. Have other YouTubers, YouTubes, done similar? Yes, they have. He seems to be only guilty of being stupid. Why do you have to be the one that is Inspector Gadget about the situation? Th that is not any of our business anyway. If Pokemon knows or figures out that this is a situation with him, I'm sure they will deal with the situation by dragging him through YouTube. Makes no sense to me, nor does it accomplish anything at all except talking s somebody and gossiping. I have to be honest. It really seems like you're on a little bit of a hater raid of Leonhardt and want his downfall. We have most recently the Radiant Charizard. Personally, know the source of the Arceus V box with the Candela Full Air Trainer. It wasn't stolen, it was a genuine box that was sent to one of the community members in my Discord, and he has all the receipts to prove it. LOL! There it is. So, recently, Leon Hart with the new opening Pokemon Go cards. Extra clickbaity, I guess, when um, all else fails. Make a video about stolen cards, um, featuring stolen cards. No, you don't get a pass because you're Leonhardt. Um, I think y you should know better. Um, I know it'll get views, but it's it's extremely strange that Lee would risk his relationship with the Pokemon Company. Um, he's what I would say clearly playing dumb in the two videos that he did on it. I can't say for certain. Uh, that he knows it's stolen, so I'll tell you what. I'll let you decide, um, and we'll we'll take a look through the clips, the important clips, and uh, and yeah. So I don't know. This is it's like I can't imagine it's very easy or very uh, easy to maintain a relationship with the Pokemon Company. You probably have to be somewhat, um, you know, coherent with the rules and regulations. So don't be a hater and jump to conclusions. <laughs> You're just hating. I don't. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna be in that boat. Um, regardless of channel size, I don't think I could convince the Pokemon Company to touch my dick if I cut a hole in my popcorn and invited them to the movies. 
It's ironic how you say he should have known the card was stolen when you have no proof the card was stolen. Just funny to make an assumption and state it was a fact when you have no info on the actual situation. But uh, go on, Lee. Tell us what you received and who it was from. Now, this box is or contains another box that was not sent to me from Pokemon, just so people know what actually happened was a subscriber of mine contacted me out of the blue the other day saying that they had ordered two Arceus figure collection boxes from PokemonCenter.com. Extremely convenient story to remove yourself from any wrongdoing or blame oopsie doopsie they sent it to me they made up the story i'm just forwarding the story on whether or not he put his blinders on for this part i don't know next clip here he tells more of the backstory he knows it's month months before release he knows he almost certainly knows that he shouldn't be opening this stuff he's around pokemon every day anyone that's around pokemon every day should know all this stuff he's probably seen the stolen stuff before he knows to stay away from it or at least he did before, and now he's dipping his toes. Don't ask me why. Also here, uh, he goes on about how he paid way more than the box was worth. Does that sound familiar to anyone? That's. It seems like that's what happens every time with these stolen cards. But this time, I guess, he, he ignored all those previous times. Those didn't happen. He didn't see any of that stuff. But, uh, but this time, but this time he, he, got, he got a hold of it, thanks to that subscriber come with is a beautiful black star promo arceus card well one of their boxes did the other box it has a pokemon go card on the inside months before the official release so they contacted me and i'm like yeah i want to showcase and open this box for y'all so that is what i did i paid them for the box well more than what the box is worth so, uh, I don't know, if you're buying any of this story, um, whether or not, you know, the story originated prior to, to Leon Hart, I'm sorry, but you are extremely gullible, uh, and or maybe part of the child audience. You sound jealous of his channel, LOL. Who cares, LOL? Like, honestly. <laughs> so the top is open, but he didn't check it. But why didn't he open the entire box if he was just going to delete the video anyway? It sounds unlikely, but I guess it's not totally related. It could be that he opened the box beforehand. Um, regardless, um, I, that's something that could have easily been also faked. So um, not super important. This is from the actual sender. I have not opened the box other than the top, so I'm eager to see if this is real, then this video can continue. If not, then you probably won't see this video. But here we go. I don't see a note or anything, but I do see right here, this is the Arceus box. Now, before we turn the box over, I'm a little nervous right now. Here is what this beautiful box is supposed to come with. The foil promo card featuring Arceus V, the sculpted figure, four packs, and a code card for Pokemon TCG Live. So, I hope y'all are ready, because I am right now to reveal this Pokemon Go card. And if this is real. And <laughs> there it is, it's a Candela card. Can't say Leonhart bought stolen cards. The card came from a sealed product. You can clearly see the box wasn't messed with. And if it was, it was down, down well because the box looked 100% sealed. It's not like he bought a single card. Your mind is so set that they're all stolen when the way quality control is nowadays. This easily could happen. It is time to check the box to make sure that the person that sent it to you, um, or, I mean, it could also just 
be Lee himself, but I mean, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt here, and we're going to say that the person that sent it to him, um, he's, he's going to check. He's going to, he's going to do a little box check here. He's going to verify the fact that this isn't resealed, that he didn't get duped, that they, you know this person is not duping everyone. Uh, the first side, which looks like it was tampered with, he, he seems to avoid here. Uh, and then there's no checking of glue. He only opens the, the one side, the one side that doesn't have like the, the ripples or whatever in the, in the side packaging. You would think that this would be an important part of the process where, you know, it, you should be suspicious and it's kind of suspicious that you're not suspicious, but go ahead, check, check the box for us. Make sure it's not resealed. All right. Oh my goodness. I wonder if there's an Arceus card below this. So I clearly saw pictures, but I frankly didn't really believe it. Just so we can see right here. I mean, we'll open this up. I'm not keeping this sealed. Do we see any sort of like, like that would show that this box is resealed in any way? Not that if that card's real or not, we'll find out. But no, this looks like a, this looks like just a regular box. Goodbye value of keeping this box sealed. <laughs> no way, Lena could have stolen it. Theft has to be proven. The receiving party must be aware. Acknowledge that the goods are stolen. If not, they aren't guilty of anything. Basic law. <laughs> So anyone that has been watching the channel knows that typically when these cards get snuck out of the factory and sold, they're not in the greatest shape because you can't uh, you can't just walk in, start putting them in top loaders, sleeving and top loadering them while you're on the assembly line. Um, we've seen even the the special delivery Zard that is almost certainly stolen. Uh, that thing is a beat to hell. The old lady at the motel. Uh, she had the cards, uh, they were probably damaged before she got them, but even then when they were selling them, absolutely brutal, unsleeved, ready to, ready to scratch all over the place. Now, here in Lee's example, it looks like if he can't put this together, but there's no help in him, but it, it looks like somebody uh, drug it with their foot away from like the conveyor belt or something. <laughs> away from the machinery like it was cut and they had to like sneak it out uh, in a boot or in their pocket um, it looks like they had to slide it in away from maybe out of the out of the view of the new cameras at the the pokemon printing facilities um millennium's new new enforced security is that what happened probably um god damn just go ahead show us to the main event to see if there's two cards in here, I, I need to be very, very careful with this. Whoa! Why is this in like terrible condition? Hold on. Can that fall up? There we go. Oh my gosh. Like, look at the back of this card. You see it's up completely scratched. But like, this is it. This is a real card. Well, goodbye grading this card. Not that I was, but seriously. So whether or not this was a, an afterthought, he did decide to grade it or at least pretend to try to grade it. Uh, he, we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Why is this such a big deal? Either way, they bought the card from someone. They aren't committing a crime themselves. That you can prove. <laughs> What's the point of this video? Because the, to me, it seems like you're just chasing this cloud. There's, there's complete marks and scratches all over this card. But like, it has texture. It's passing all of the, you know, fake or not fake Pokemon card vibes. Like that's an actual card. It doesn't look like there's anything like glued together. Like this is a legit Candela Pokemon Go card. That is crazy. Sorry, I'm looking at the card name and then of course what it does. 
Draw two cards. If you drew any cards in this way, flip a coin. If heads, attach fire. Energy, of course, for Team Valor. Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. I've opened a lot of Pokemon cards, and I can tell you that I can I definitely recognize when machinery does damage to a card versus when somebody you know puts it on the floor or scratches it by other means. Uh, it's usually very obvious. There's there's certain things that machinery can do to it uh, that isn't rub it around in the on the dirty floor. I I don't know if I need to tell you guys this, but Leon Hart has opened a lot of Pokemon cards and should be very familiar with the type of damage that you see from machinery. But again, he's going to to give us this little tidbit. This is. In what it looks like, an official Pokemon Go card that's been through the gauntlet of probably the machinery to get into this box. It was clearly not machinery, and you, you should know that. That's crazy. I would love your theories as well. I'm sure when you said this, you probably didn't want my theory on it, but uh, why did, it's okay. Why don't you, the person that had print facility employees featured on your channel, you do Pokemon cards for a living, but you don't know where you're, you're going to tell us you don't know where they currently print Pokemon cards. Go ahead. Of what exactly, like, I know it's printed all in one plan in, uh, I believe, North Carolina or the Carolinas. It's just crazy. Here's the code card just to see if that's different, but it's not. Wow. A Candela Pokemon Go card. It isn't stolen, it's a real box, just the card is fake. He does not have any Pokemon Go videos, it says Pokemon Go Popeye's facts, but they are Astro Radiance, bro. You need to get your shit together and quit eating on other Pokemon YouTubers! Isn't that just like when people get shoes before they release? And also video games and whatnot? They're connected and bigger than you. Of course they have connects and get stuff before they release. <laughs> so, um... Leon, if anyone, should surely know that BGS does not grade stolen cards, the cards that aren't released. None of the grading companies should. He also certainly knows that CGC does, but he sends the card, I guess, with the what I would assume is the pretend expectation that it's going to come back graded. He's going to do guess the grade with you guys. I'm calling BS on this as well. This is just another way to, to, to you know milk a, an extra video out of the the card that he purchased from someone who probably stole it or bought it from somebody that stole it from the print facility. And, uh, let's take a look at, at that. <sighs> it wasn't great. It, it wasn't great. It product not released yet. Well, I'm not surprised. I tried to get it graded. Where is it? There it is. So, the Candela Pokemon Go card right here. This one I'm pretty upset about. Not that I was not gonna resell it or anything. I don't do that. However, it was in such bad condition that I thought this would be such a fun video to try to guess the grade at. You know, I always do more mint ones, so it's close. But this is really fun because look how scuffed up the top of this card is from whatever happened in distribution. Like there's marks on here, like looking at it in the light here. That's such a shame because that would have been fun to get this graded. And then honestly, I was going to want to give this one to y'all. Uh, but that being said, you know, you can't win them all. And I at least tried. I attempted to get this graded. So uh, there's dings and marks everywhere. But these just say product not re released. And uh, this doesn't say anything. It just says job ID of when I got it graded. Talk about clickbait. You are basically clickbait leading her. Total hip crop. A crop hypocrisy. Halloween. What is this channel? Le meow meow. <laughs> this guy seems really bitter. <laughs> I have nothing against Lee. 
I just think this was a terrible decision. Uh, this video series or two video series that he made. Uh, I have nothing against trying to get views. I understand that's how uh, him and other creators make money. Whether you want to clickbait prices, titles, etc. If you want to open your mouth over the entire thumbnail, by all means, deep throat that motherfucker. But, you know, uh, even fake enthusiasm, if, that, if that's your thing, people seem to like that. You do you. If that was, that's what works and that's what, you know, people want to watch, that's what people want to watch. But don't promote stolen cards. Even if you tell us that someone came to you with this story, even if you want to tell us you 100% believed it, um, somehow you became the most gullible person on the planet, uh, you shouldn't have. Uh, this has stolen goods written all over it. You know, it's just a boy. Leon makes money for the Pokemon. They probably gave him the whole, the whole set. It's funny that you think, yeah, you have to double those seven these cards out of the factory. These outside pretty companies don't care. It'd be good to uh, to set a better example with this stolen stuff because a lot of people have and a lot of people will get in trouble with this. Um, and you promoting it to everyone is, is not helping the issue. Um... Not only do I feel bad for the people that are overpaying for this stuff, but I'm also feeling bad for the people that are stealing this stuff from work because they can get in a lot of trouble. Again, we've seen it countless times. Time and time again, it's only a matter of time before somebody gets smacked with a lawsuit, um, just like the Sword and Shield guidebooks. The two people that leaked the photos of those, and those were just photos. I've got to remind everyone every time with this stuff, those were just photos, and they both got sued for 150,000 US dollars. Probably people working at the facility that can't afford that. Why do you keep saying eight years? Since Pokemon Go, it hasn't even been six years yet since it released. Of course you understand getting views, you entire video is slander just to get views. Your opinion and as improve it will take reputation is wins. But you know, it's the Pokemon company might need to set an example and this C D C grading them, um Great and stolen cards, just all of it. It just all it does is encourage bad behavior, um, illegal behavior, and uh, I don't like to see it. And I know people don't necessarily realize that it's as serious as it is, and people play it off like, "Oh, it's only Pokemon cards." Relax. No, it's also you know when we're getting especially into the Charizard and other cards that haven't even been shown in the Japanese end of things. Um, that's um, yeah, that's a, a big slap in the, the testicles of the Pokemon company, and it's only a matter of time before they smack back. You have no evidence to say they were stolen other than your, your hunch. You can't just make assumptions and then pass that off as fact. Fuck you, rat of Pokemon. So to be fully transparent, I did call Leonhard a few times and uh, did not get an answer. Hi, this is Luis Stein. Also, sent a text on screen here. No answer to that yet. Um, just looking for clarification on some details. Uh, Lee, let me know if you want to chat. If any of the following is a misunderstanding, I would love to hear about it. Uh, it's 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 super sketchy all around, but I'd love to hear about it. If there's some kind of maybe some of it's a misunderstanding. Maybe some isn't. I would say that a large majority of it isn't, but I'd like to uh, like to hear all sides of the story. So, if you'd like to share, 
I'm, uh, I'm all ears. So is everyone else. So first off, I'd like to say thank you to Oda Dread, who was the one who noticed and sent this to me. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is all around sketchy. I don't know what to make of this, and uh, I'd, I'd like to like to hear uh, what Lee has to say about it. Um, maybe there's some kind of excuse, but uh, his Arceus V figure collection opening here. Uh, from a month ago, this one here that says I got an error box of Pokemon cards. Dot dot dot. Um, it's um, uh, it's suspect. It's definitely suspect. Um, as we're we'll watch the clip, the most important part. Um, we're gonna ask ourselves what would he need to save the box for? And is it a coincidence that he opened it from the opposite side of the uh, the Candela error box? Coincidence that error boxes were already on his mind with this one, uh, with the with the title. Is this the is this the new thing? Uh, but I'll let you guys watch it. You you let me know what you think. The Arceus box figure collection box. Might I add? It's a beautiful box. There's texture on the bottom of the box. I have never seen that before. And on the sides. All right. Let me try to save this box because I will need it for something later on. But for the time being, you're ready to see if you haven't already known about this pack that's on the inside. So to me, with with the opposite side being opened with him saying that he's saving the box, kind of leads me to believe that he was in on it. But again, maybe there's some reason. Is there some reason that he would be saving the box? Is there some reason that he would, you know, open the opposite side? He kind of skims over the, you know, the check on the box with the candela in it. All coincidences, coincidences who knows? But uh, we're also going to thank Archie uh, for noticing the, the title and thumbnail change. I, I thought the video was completely removed. Uh, primarily, I think a couple of people commented that. But uh, he changed the title of grading a Pokemon Go card. Um, two, only one. There's only one in the world. So if I had to guess, I would say this is probably BGS is not impressed. Um, I'm quite certain um, with the videos that he's done that he has sort of a, a relationship with them. But grading companies in general, they don't want you sending stuff that isn't supposed to be graded. They don't want you sending fake stuff as a test. Um, it's, there's, it's like a lose-lose for them. Uh, and there's a good chance that they will probably ban you uh, from submitting cards if you do something like that. Uh, same goes with stolen, unreleased goods. Once again, he knew that BGS was not going to grade this card. But um, whether or not he was in communication with them and told them that's what he was going to do, or he was going to attempt to grade it, is a different story. Um, I don't know the whole story, and uh, that's why if, uh, if Leon Hart wants to clarify any of it, I'd be happy, happy to listen and uh, happy to, to follow up on that. But uh, that's that's what it looks like to me. Um, but um, that's it for uh, sketchy Leon Hart stuff. We're, we're going to move on to uh, the seller of the box in just a minute here. All right, we got a lot of shout outs in this one. We have a New England nerd who was, I believe, the first to inform me that Opossum Bud made a couple videos um, about the Leonhart Pokemon Go opening, about how it was weird, how it got weirder. Uh, he had someone reach out to him uh, to in inform him about the seller. So we got some, some secret, super secret Discord messages sent by the seller, who we're going to find out is all kinds of sketchy. He's got J-Boy written all over him. He's um he's getting added to the J-Boy collection. Uh, and uh, we're about to find out why. All right, time to introduce the new J-Boy. And luckily, it uh, doesn't really start with J, but uh, at least we can call him AJ or AJ-Boy. Um, you can see here, he's got the J-Boy starter kit. He's got the um, edgy, edgy shirt. Uh, with the hands on the bars, we got the we got the face covered with this cell phone pick. We got the swag, the swags, and we got the uh, the G baller car, 
Um, we got the uh, the tough boy doggy. He is very cute. But um, but yeah, that is part of the kit. That is part of the J Boy kit. Um, we got Jizzle Breadman. So he goes by Breadman seven oh seven on Discord, not to be confused with Instagram and Twitter's Breadman seven oh seven. On Instagram, he is Jizzle Breadman, uh, which is <laughs> which is something. It's, it's definitely something. Uh, so you can see here we got some we got some sneakers. Uh, very J Baller. Uh, another another red flag. Um, I don't even know if if we have to go into the fact that he's from California, which is the land of stolen Pokemon cards, uh, <laughs> stolen goods in general, I guess. If you guys don't remember, we had the Eater and Gary's Pokemart, uh, stolen celebrations saga. Um, yeah, California, where everything is stolen, and uh, you gotta you gotta get your stolen goods on. If you don't remember, they were uh, they were going to the mall with racks and uh, buying stolen Pokemon cards from their plug, which is pretty funny. Uh, they thought they were pretty cool and and tough, um, but uh, but yeah, they're they're buying stolen trading cards. Pretty cool. So uh, as you can see here, uh, zero indication of Pokemon. Very interesting. That uh, that might be important. So, uh, of course, once I got uh, got a handle on the Discord that had the locked super secret channels where he was posting in, we'll take a look at those posts later on in the video here, um, but uh, I was able to uh, send him a message since I, I joined that group. Um, and interesting enough, he decided, hey, I'm, I'm going to take the rattle plunge. I'm going to, um, as somebody that's uh, clearly lying about certain aspects, and probably the entirety of it, um, a, a G-baller, J-boy, I am going to try to pull one over on old rattle. Uh, probably not a good idea. If you know anything about the previous scammerinos I've talked to, I'm going to talk to them until they lie to me. And when they lie to me, I'm going to try to get them to double down on it. I'm going to ask them questions. I'm going to talk to them until they lie to me. And when they start lying to me, I know they're probably lying about everything. So then it, it's just motivation at that point to uh, dig in even harder and uh, to find out exactly what's going on. So I'll give this a, a little scroll through here. Um, basically, he tells me he's been to it all along, uh, been into Pokemon all along uh, because he's 35. Uh, I tell him that I'm a little bit jealous. Uh, ask him if he took a break. So he does. He corrects himself or backtracks and, and says he's been back in since generations. Um, I kind of find this hard to believe somebody that's been into Pokemon or liked Pokemon since 99 and that is 35 years old at the current time, but you've never posted anything Pokemon related. Of course, I took a look on all the major Facebook groups, uh, all the Pokemon ones, nowhere to be found until recently uh, with this error box discovery. Go figure. Let's take a look at that. So of course, this is his first ever post and one of only a few. Uh, in the Pokemon TCG errors, misprints, and other oddities buy sell trade. Um, that's where he's going to go to try and sell this thing to some unsuspecting motherfucker because why not, right? You, you got to get in there. You got to pretend, hey guys, I'm, I'm definitely a Pokemon collector. <laughs> you better believe me. Check out what I just got. It's totally not resealed. It's definitely not in the product that is the easiest. To reseal, it's not it's not a cardboard box that I can just re-glue one of the sides. Anyway, um, so he's he's going on in here. There's a few very key uh, elements that we'll take a look at, but uh, we'll give it a scroll through here. Uh, it's mostly just him talking about how he has ultimate proof, um, and we'll take a look at that as well. He has the receipt for the Arceus box, which I mean, you, I believe the fact that it's a real Arceus box, so you're, you're, I, the fact that you have a receipt and that you got it from the Pokemon Center. Um, is not uh, it's not a deal break. That's not absolute evidence that you didn't open it up and put your damaged stolen card inside it. Uh, that's that's not how that works. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So it's it's a lot of people talking about is it better to keep it? Is it better to sell it? He's going on about how he's going to sell it to a famous YouTuber and that people should watch. Um, here he shows the sides of it. Like that's evidence that it's not resealed. I like. Dude, I don't, I don't think, it's a cardboard box. 
Like it's a, it's a cardboard box. You can open it and glue it again. That's why it's important that you buy stuff like this, especially if it's older, expensive stuff. You buy it from somebody reputable because you got AJ boys over here that will mess with it. Um, whether they have a stolen card to insert into the box or not, um, it, you got to be careful with this stuff. Even booster packs uh, to a lesser extent, booster boxes with a wrap and stuff like that. But this is a cardboard box with glue that you can't see. Keep that in mind, please, for the love of God. The amount of comments that are like, oh yeah, but it was sealed. How would they how would they get the how would they open it up? Well, we saw Leonhardt open a box carefully. Could have been the same way. If it's not that same box, which it, I, I don't know if it is or not, it's hard to tell. It's sketchy on both ends. It's like a double sided dildo of sketchiness. Which end are you going to take? Probably both of them. Who fucking knows? This is an absolute ridiculous mess. And uh, yeah, it's turning into another rabbit hole of how the hell does all of this happen. Uh, but uh, most importantly here, we got another AJ lie. We got a little, a little, a little Pinocchio right here. We have him saying, yeah, exactly. At first, I thought a kid swapped a trainer or whatever, but a card that doesn't release for a while is just too good to be true. Ha <laughs> ha. So, how did a kid swap it if you got it from the Pokemon Center? You're a fucking liar. You're a liar, dude. You lied. Where'd you get the card? Did you get it from the mall? Did you bring some cash with you? Did you make 650 boners selling it to Leonhart? Did Leonhart know about it? Who knows? Do you know? I don't know. Someone know. Please, for the love of God, let's get this solved and over with. Um, also, for somebody that was in the hobby or interested in Pokemon since 1999, and now they're back in, and um, they've been back in since generations, he asked a lot of very uh, newbie questions, like, Looks like Astral Radiance is full of QC issues. Both my trainer V cards came super OC. I'm sorry, but if you think that's super OC, um, you are not... Uh, you haven't been around since Generations. This is not the worst, not even close to the worst that there's been. Um, here, another, another newbie question. So this is all stuff like, now he's getting into the hobby after he pulled the fast one, I guess, uh, and made some quick money. Hey guys, is this considered a pinch or just a printing line from top to bottom of the card right in front of the 30? No mark on the back indicating it's a crease or anything. So this is another one of those questions that like, sure, this is someone new asking it and that's fine. You can ask questions when you're new, um, but this is an indication that you're new. You haven't been into Pokemon since 1999. Uh, I believe you that you're 35, but that's probably about it. Uh, and then here's another comment on like somebody else had uh, some upside down error boxes. These at the same time, I, mean, I can't imagine this like really has any value. It's just upside down, but maybe somebody wants an upside down boy. Who knows? But he's going on about how he had the better error version of this. That instead of having an upside down Arceus, it had a stolen Pokemon Go card in it. Allegedly stolen Pokemon Go card in it. But uh, But yeah, that's the absolute mess that we're dealing with right now. All right, before we get into the massive amount of receipts, um, yes, obviously I, I save everything. I've learned, J-Boys delete. They delete stuff, you know. They'll talk to you and then they're like, oopsie doopsie, maybe I shouldn't have talked to Rattle. Maybe I shouldn't have given him all the receipts. Maybe he's going to piece them together. Maybe I made a mistake. Well, you made mistakes outside of that too. Um, sorry about it, but your story doesn't line up. Uh, we're going to see claims that he asked for a shout out and didn't get one from Leonhardt. Claims that he was supposed to get a mystery package from Leonhardt. He didn't get one. He got the people in the private Discord channel worked up. Uh, then he, he told me that he was fine with it and got a letter instead. He didn't show me that letter because the letter probably doesn't exist. God knows what's going on with that. Who fucking knows? Leonhardt probably knows. If Leonhardt would like to clear this up, that would be appreciated. Uh, because I don't think our boy, AJ boy is going to tell us the truth at any point. We caught him in lies. Liar's going to lie, you know? Liar's going to lie. Right, Jacob? Right, other J-boys? Liar's going to lie? So, um, I guess also he claimed that he wanted to stream opening the mystery package in here somewhere, um, and then uh, he didn't reply to me when I asked. 
um, um, what streaming platform he was on or what he streamed. But um, I couldn't find anywhere. I don't think he streams. Uh, I think that was just a, a, a full bluff. Uh, again, I, I don't know why uh, these absolute idiots... They, they'd love to make up details. It's like being a J-boy, you automatically got to make stuff up in order to like make yourself feel better or like make it more exciting. Like the stupid details that are obviously going to, they're going to get you caught. Um, but, uh, but yeah, here's the receipt that uh, is the all going super duper proof, um, that uh, he did buy Arceus V figure collections. And, um, it, I mean, I'm not even going to bother to, to look into whether this is fake or not, because all this does is prove that there was an Arceus box. Was the Arceus box Leon's box? Is this fabricated? Maybe. Is this like somebody else's receipt that he had a picture of? Maybe. He didn't show me the tracking. He just showed me that uh, it was uh, the Arceus V figure collection and the love balls. I was kind of trying to get him to uh, to fall for uh, telling me that the love balls weren't there because he did at certain points mention the love balls. At other points, he didn't mention the love balls. But the love balls are there. Um, regardless, this receipt is, um, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh, because, uh, you know, the Arceus V figure collection that the Pokemon Go card was inserted into was a real Arceus V figure collection. There's no one, there's no reason that anyone would go through the effort of making a fake box to put a, you know, stolen card inside. That just doesn't make any sense uh, when you can just go buy one for very little money. So then we have, uh, he sent me a, uh, I guess the DM that he sent to PokerRev who didn't answer, um, whether or not that was on purpose. He probably just has a lot of messages, but, um, but yeah, um, I would think that PokerRev would be, um, smart enough to not touch that, but, uh, you never know. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's views. Uh, it's certainly not, um, not something that you want to encourage. I say it time and time again, but like, the people that are buying it aren't necessarily going to get in that much trouble or typically aren't going to I'm not saying that they can't um but um you can definitely get it confiscated and end up being at a lot of money but not as much money um or i mean it could be life ruining if you're working at the factory and you're making uh very little uh, if you end up with a criminal record you get fired um you obviously don't have a reference from your place of work if you were caught stealing from work and then also there's like the looming threat of a giant lawsuit from the Pokemon company, uh, which we've seen. We've already seen it. I got to say it a million times because people don't understand. They're like, oh, it's only Pokemon. Well, yeah, it's only Pokemon. But um, they uh, they take their, their shit pretty seriously. And again, Sword and Shield guidebooks. People took pictures of them at work, shared the images online. They didn't even take anything from work. They just took pictures of it. And they both got sued for $150,000. I don't know how many times I need to tell people that, but I'm going to repeat it over and over again because it's going to happen again. And I don't want to see that. I mean, like someone just messes up, has a bad day, makes a poor decision, obviously a poor decision to steal from work. And um, they, they think like it's not a big deal or something. They think they can make some quick money and it's worth it. They won't get caught, but then they get caught. No, we just want to avoid that overall. Don't encourage it. Um, and it's sad to see that uh, that sort of was encouraged, whether it was intentional or not, by Leonhart. Don't want to see that. So here he's going on about how he's got the error box. He ordered the two boxes. Very cool. Uh, here he's got the, he's posting the DMs with Leonhart. And uh, Leonhart says, oh, wow, that's hilarious. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd love to make a video on the box myself, actually. I think it would be hilarious and fun. Def don't open it yet. And then he, he like covered this part, which is kind of weird. Uh, no, pretty crazy. I thought it was tampered with until I saw what actually something, something, something. I have time dated photos in case any doubters once the set releases. But yeah, basically don't want to sell myself short and just get rid of it too fast. I'd be totally... And that's the thing too. He just wrote it on a piece of paper. Like you can write the date on a piece of paper. I can take... A, <laughs> I can take an old box and um, and write a date on it that's, that's different. You can write any date. There's, there's no... There's no proof there. Oh my God, people, it's so dumb. Breadman, you're dumb. All right, we. Uh, so here he's talking about how Leonhardt's gonna do the video. Uh, he's gonna send a um, a bunch of footage and pictures of the box. He wanted in person, but footage sent such and such and such. And then they're suggesting like, hey, maybe you should send it to some of these other 
these other influencers that'll pay a lot of money. Um, just more of them going on this like secret discord of like wiener babies. I think a few of them commented on the last video that, um, uh, that they know that it was official cause they know bread man's in their discord and bread man has receipts. He has the receipt for the Arceus box, guys. There's definitely no way he opened a cardboard box and slipped a damaged stolen card inside. So here, um, I think uh, Opossum Bud had it in his video, but uh, he sold it to Leonhardt for $650 plus a mystery box of vintage packs and a shout out in his video he does on the box. I feel like that's pretty fair. So these other details, I would also like to know. Uh, if Lee would uh, clarify this, because Breadman is what's seeming more and more uh, like a Jacob level uh, pathological liar at this point in time. But uh, but yeah, so then he continues to uh, uh, he goes on about others. Oh, no shout out, which is kind of weak. Still waiting on the mystery package or this group will burn down his reputation single handedly. LOL. And what surprised me was the fact that he paid way over value never seen him say anything like that before and also the fact he seemed super disappointed there wasn't any other pokemon go cards inside that was his hidden hope and agenda the entire time we only talked about candela as error nothing else um yeah you might be disappointed maybe he didn't realize that uh, it was stolen um and maybe it made more sense to him when the card looked like someone took their work boot at the factory at the print facility and dragged the card to a hidden area that's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to most people, but apparently not to you. Um, I don't know about that. I'm sure that you could see some of the damage on the card itself uh, through the packaging, just like the shape that it was in. It, it was straight up botched in the wiener. But yeah, they're going on about how he got all the extra views, so he should have paid you more money, et cetera, et cetera. No note. Um, I don't know if there was an expectation of a note. It, uh, I don't know here, bread man. Your, uh, your story doesn't make any sense. We haven't heard the story from Leon Hart. We've heard it from bread man. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So here he's talking about, uh, here's where he kind of gives away where he was in that error group. Uh, we had people like bidding on it, um, telling him how much he can get for it. Just more like get lucky, get lucky. Um, I was a little bit concerned with the, uh, with the discord messages where he didn't even have an avatar in the beginning. I was thinking that it was like a burner discord account, but it seems like the, the discord, um, account was a couple years old anyway. So no luck there. Um, uh, but, uh, interesting to know. Um, uh, so now it's 665 cash instead of 650. So like this dude, uh, it, his story doesn't make any sense. He's all over the place. Um, it's mystery surprise box. And then he's gonna, he goes on here. Um, he's going on here about how he's gonna 10X his money. Yeah, I'm sure now. Um, <laughs> I, it's, I don't think it's worth the hassle uh, that Leon Hart, I, maybe he didn't take that into consideration and maybe that's why he seemed a little bit salty um, and sketchy in the video, but And here, still just going on about how he wasn't getting the package, wasn't getting the package. Uh, and then down at the bottom, down at the bottom here, mostly dumb because my four-year-old daughter does hella like him. She was super happy to watch his video with our box, and I've been telling her he's sending us a package to open because I assume the packs will suck, and I'll give her, give to her either way. Well, if he said it was vintage packs, I can't imagine they're really going to suck, but... I don't know if he even said that. It doesn't, he might not have even, that might have been not even part of the agreement. It's hard to say exactly. Um, Pax will suffer, I'll give it either way. Ha. Um, and then they're going on about how you should blast him on social media. He did apologize for not sending earlier this week and said it would be up this week. So I don't know, trying to give the guy benefit of the doubt if I don't have and answer and answer by the time by this time next week, I'll reach out again and go on blast mode. LOL. Um, yeah, if you post on Twitter, I'll retweet instant. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is this Shelder? Tispy, are you Shelder on a different account? Maybe I post a random countdown, then when it ends, I just blast his ass. Haha, <laughs> a video of her saying she can't wait to open the surprise box in a live stream. So here he's talking about the live stream again, too. 
I don't think he live streams. I don't think that's a thing, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just couldn't find it. Maybe he just didn't want to answer me about it. Said I even had to mention her to him to get his attention this last time I PM him. Like, I know you paid me and all, but she's got her hopes up, dude. I even told him if he didn't plan to send it. Let me know so I can fake a package and not crush her dreams, lol. I bought her a bunch of stuff with the cash, so she's happy. Either way, kids just don't understand false promises, you know? Um, yeah, so, like, that's another thing. You're, like, bringing kids into it for no reason. Like, why? Don't promise your kid that he's sending something and that it's going. you're going to get it right away. Um, if that's even the case, he might be just, like, guilt-tripping uh, and using that as an excuse, um, chances are your, your kid's probably not old enough to really want vintage packs anyway. At least they shouldn't. And you probably shouldn't be giving little kids expensive packs. It's just what it is. If you want to get them some cheap stuff, some cheap ma modern stuff that they can have fun, they're going to have just as much fun with it opening them up. Birdman says, yeah, he was adamant about saying he would send tracking. Again, just ridiculous nonsense. Um, so here, I guess they're on to the fact that someone's sharing the information from their their super secret channel. Um, not totally sure what the point of the secret channel is, but uh, here, Breadman says, well, I just messaged Lee and Hired for one last chance at this package he's supposed to send. I think I'll just make a fake one to give my daughter today. She doesn't wait very well, LOL. Yeah, maybe you should have took that into consideration, not told her. Honestly, I'm doing everything to avoid that, but dang, a couple of weeks is a little long. I'll see what he says in the reply. So he, he told me he was fine, but then this is like, this is after that. I, so the dude, does, he's making shit up on all the, on the platforms here, on the error group on Facebook, on the Discord here where he's like a private member of it. He's made up shit in the DMs with me. He's making up shit every day, all day. We got another case of the old... Californian stolen raisins. Um, stolen cards, guys. These uh, are the almost always stolen cards. There's very, very rare exceptions um, that the stuff couldn't be stolen or wouldn't be stolen. But um, but this one's a stretch. This is this is one of those like super stretchy. You got to think of how many people this had to pass in order to get out to the customer. Um, <laughs> like the quality control in terms of the damage on it, when they're putting the card in, even if it's face down, they're going to see the fact that it's rubbed all over with a boot. It didn't get caught in the machinery. There's no machinery that makes marks on it like that. It's from the floor. No, someone didn't pick it off the floor and put it into a box at random. And then you gotta, you gotta think that not only did they accidentally print it at the same time and put it in the, the employee hand packs these into the box, as we've seen in the video with Millennium, a lot of this stuff is hand packed, but then also on the way out, no one realized that it was the wrong promo. Then the Pokemon Center online, because it's not in a full case, uh, because he ordered two boxes, they don't come in a case of two. They also had to miss it, and then when they shipped it out, they missed it as well. And then, like, well, that, I mean, this is just also just ignoring the fact that he lied about it because he said that he thought a kid swapped it out because he couldn't get his story straight because the story is fucking bullshit. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Again, I really appreciate everyone that can be here for the premiere. Remember to take one for the road, but not if you're driving. And, uh, yeah, join the Discord. And I'll see you on there. We got the happy hour tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be in there. Voice and video chat. Come join, join the party. Probably uh, have some people usually opening a couple packs, shoot the shit, chill out, talk some Pokemon, you know, all, all the good stuff. Be there. Please. Have a good night.